Emma Jones here and today I am super excited because we are finally filming the Candy Girl Skates review. So many of you guys have been asking me about these skates for so long and I finally got some in the mail today. Um, this is actually going to be my first time putting them on and trying them out and you're going to get to do that with me. Um, so this is going to be as if you were to buy them yourself open them up for the first time, put them right on your feet, and I'm going to explain everything that I'm feeling as it's happening. Let's do it. So when you get your skates in the mail, they're going to arrive in a box like this. I already opened this one up. The main box is open, and then inside I have Candy Girl Skate Box. So this is what the box looks like. It has a little bit of shiny material there. It's pretty cute. Um, and it actually just opens right Oh, this is what it looks like whenever you open it up. If you want to get in here. They come in plastic bags to protect them. So I'm gonna take one out. There's the bag. It has some nice paper and plastic and things stuck in here. All right, and then this is the skate. So I have seen a lot of my students skate in these. I've witnessed people skating ramps, um, people that have just pulled them out of the box still have the same wheels and bearings. And at first glance, for a $99 skate, it looks like it works and it feels like it actually is quality. The wheels, the wheels feel like normal skate wheels, like they're actual urethane. They're not just plastic like on, uh, like the Chicago skates, those come with these really hard plastic wheels and you can feel every bump on the road. So already these are looking to be a bit higher quality than your average uh, lower price point skate. The most exciting thing about this skate is the price point. This skate sells for $99 retail. That's really exciting because to me that means people that may not have otherwise gotten skates have an option available now that is more of a budget skate. So I mean when I was a kid there was no way in heck my parents were going to spend $300 to get me skates, especially because my foot was going to outgrow them in a couple months. So that's why I'm excited for the Candy Girl Skate, not just for kids, but for anybody on a budget. Other features of this skate so far that I'm noticing are it has a heel, um, just like the Moxies, so it puts you up onto your toes, uh, which is really helpful for artistic skating, ramp skating, dance skating. Uh, the heel so much isn't helpful in derby, but that's also personal preference. I've seen people wear a heel in derby too. Um, but I would prefer a flat boot if I was going to play derby again. But the skate is real suede which means that it will break in a bit and mold to fit your foot. It looks like the inside lining here, uh, it's pretty soft. I'm not sure what material that is, but it feels like another leather maybe, but it feels nice and soft. The rolled cuff right here helps with comfort, and the boot itself is actually pretty stiff. Uh, for example, the lolly is much softer than this. It feels like this has reinforcements on the inside for some structure and support, which I've really been liking a lot lately. That's why I like the beach bunny in my jack boot because I like a boot that's stiff. So we also have a metal plate, a bolt-on toe stop. Bolt-on means it screws in through this middle piece. Um, it looks like it has silver five bearings. Who knows what that means, but they roll. Look, the wheels actually spin. So that's the number one test. Whenever I'm getting a skate and I open it, does the wheel spin do will they actually roll is the biggest question as long as it rolls you are good to skate i don't care if you find your skates at a thrift store i don't care if the wheels are almost all the way worn down as long as it can roll you can roller skate looks like it has this little instructional sheet which is actually pretty handy if you want to take a look at that it tells you about your toe, toe stop bolt you can tighten the the trucks so that's a nice little diagram there the next step now is for me to put them on and see how they work. So let's go out front, I'll get laced up, and let's go for a skate. After putting in my foot in, it feels a little bit narrow. 
I can feel it squeezing at the ball of my foot, but it's not uncomfortable. And um, that might be something though that if you have wide feet, these might be a little narrow for you. So I am out on my first cruise with my new Candy Girl skates. And I've gotta say I am incredibly impressed. Like for $99, this has gotta be one of the best skates you can get. One of the first things I noticed when I put on this skate is the wheels feel really good on this concrete. They're actual urethane, they're absorbing the ground beneath me. It doesn't feel like I'm like crunching or rolling on hard plastic. Like these wheels and bearings are really good. They roll and that's number one thing I'm looking for. A lot of the cheaper skates are good, but once you actually start skating, you actually have to change the wheels and the toe stop because they are that weird hard plastic that don't absorb any of the ground. So that's one thing that's really nice about these. Good wheels and bearings that you could leave on for a while. Uh, the second thing that's really obvious that I love is the motion in the plate. It's really easy to draw circles and to use my edges. There's a lot of action in the truck, which means they move very easily which is awesome because that means this skate will be good for dance skating and for rinks and also for ramps. I think it's gonna be really good for ramps because I love the stiffness of the boot. It feels uh, really like structurally sound. Whenever I stride through my whole leg, it actually reacts in the plate and in the boot. And yeah, I mean, overall I'm, I'm really impressed. The one thing that I would consider changing is the toe stop. Uh, this one works fine, but it is kind of a bit of a harder plastic, and you could replace a toe stop for a really good one, super cheap. I think we have bolt-on toe stops on planetrollerskate.shop for like $10. For being stiffer boots, these are actually surprisingly comfortable. Uh, the only thing that might cause discomfort for some people is that they are a bit narrower than other skates I've skated before. Um, for my foot, I have like an average foot, and it doesn't hurt, it's, it's good. Uh, but I do feel that it's a little bit snugger in the width than other skates. So you have the fast reacting plate, quality wheels and bearings, uh, a nice stiff boot. I would say for $99, it really doesn't get much better than this. Like I'm really, really impressed with this skate. The only thing that I can't answer right now is how long will they last? Are they durable? I can tell you that I have seen many of my students wear these skates for a very long time. Uh, even while ramp skating, so that that gives me a lot of hope that they'll last a while. Uh, but I guess I'm just gonna have to keep skating in them and see how it goes. So stay tuned, I will keep you updated on the status of my Candy Girl skates as I uh, continue to skate them for a while. After skating for a minute, I'd say they definitely feel like they're breaking in. Uh, where they were a little bit tight around my foot and they felt kind of narrow, it's now feeling much more comfortable, so that's a good sign. Um, I'm gonna have to skate on these a bit more and get back to you and see how they do on long distance skates at the skate park. So I'm definitely gonna be updating my Instagram with those things. But I would say overall, if you've been thinking about getting a Candy Girl skate, I approve, do it. But I also wanna get a second opinion. So I'm gonna go over to Pigeon's house right now and see if she wants to try these on and give it a go for herself. So let's do it. What size do you normally wear? I'm a woman's nine. And in my derby skates, I wear a seven. Uh, in men's, I'm a seven and a half, which is also my lolly and my jack size, seven and a half. This is an eight. I have very different feet than Indy. I have very wide, flat feet. Very wide. I mean, for, for a lady wide, 
probably more common than we all think. So right off the bat, um, the the outer shell feels way more sturdy than the than the tongue. So they're nice laces. They're stretchy laces. I like that. Yeah, the tongue folded up on me, but like it wasn't. So it didn't like twist, but it didn't matter that the tongue because the boot is structured enough that like. It's not that it needed like the tongue to hold in place, you know? Yeah. These definitely fit. These fit me. They work really well. Uh, I was able to adapt to the way that the skates are made pretty quickly. Uh, the cushions are really soft, which makes me feel comfortable. I have a lot of maneuverability, which is what I'm used to in my other skates. My feet kind of hurt because I have really wide feet and the outside of the boot is really stiff, but I could already feel it kind of opening up. So hopefully that wouldn't be a big deal. Um, the wheels are nice. The wheels are the wheels feel like regular outdoor wheels uh, that I've ridden on and from all different types of manufacturers. Bearings are kind of slow, but not that slow. This is yeah, they're great. I feel like for ninety nine dollars, these are something I would recommend for someone who wants to get into skating or someone who's growing their feet are growing. Yeah. You know. So if you got these skates and you, maybe you planned on trying to make them last for as long as possible, what are some of the upgrades that you would recommend? Probably a better toe stop. The toe stop's pretty hard. Not that bad, but there are better quality toe stops. Also, you see a, you might wanna tighten your, you might wanna tighten your trucks if you're a bigger person. Yeah, tighten the trucks if you're probably over 150 pounds, just a little bit, cause I'm about 200 and it's coming up right there, which shouldn't be an issue, but for longevity, that could really wear out your cushions. Yeah, the plate's not bad. It's a basic, you know, Chinese made aluminum plate with no brand name. Do you think it will break in to fit your foot if it's wider? Do you think you would order a size up just to have more room? Me personally, I would probably order a size up. Since my feet are wide, it's kind of pushing on the side and yeah, people online said they definitely break in, but I feel like I put those on and they yeah. were a little big for me. I had room in the toe, but mm -hmm. I kind of liked it. It was fine being a little bit bigger for me. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm like, I'm a nine, woman's nine, but E width, so, and it's definitely pushing on the side. But everywhere else, it fits perfect. It fits nicely, like, lengthwise. The heel is actually a little big. Um, I have pretty big heels, but it's kind of, that I'd probably wear a thicker sock. I'd go a size up and wear a thicker sock, so. Yeah, I guess I would get a nine. I'm a woman's nine, I would get a nine, wear an extra sock. Yeah, I'm an eight and I got an eight. And wear an extra sock? Uh -huh. Maybe yeah. an insole, sport insole. Pretty good deal, pretty All right. fun. <laughs> All right, Red, let's uh, skate back. Okay. No, I think it was perfect. How fast can you go, Pigeon? Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, warm up for the game. for watching this episode of Planet Roller Skate. If you've ever tried the Candy Girl Skate before, let me know how you liked it in the comments below. I'm sure everybody else reading the comments would love to hear more opinions, so give us your own review. 
Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit up planetrollerskate.shop to get your own Candy Girl skates. And until next time, later skaters.